Run. A little foot first. Alright, let's go. What's up, yo? Get me TV here today. We're back. <laughs> and we're here to show you guys. Packed with the jack. Packed with the jack, as <laughs> Nick likes to call it. Uh, today we're going to take you guys through a full beginner's chest workout. This is what I used to use when I was younger, and um, we're going to go through it today because a lot of you channels out there show you what to do, but they don't break it down specifically. So this is for you young guys out there starting out, and we're going to take you through the exercise. We're going to do three sets of eight for each exercise, and we're going to do three exercises for chest here, all right? We got the demonstration over here. Nick Sicardo is warming up on the bench press. But before you guys get to that as your first exercise, I want to talk about warming up the chest area, any muscle group before you hit it. Because the main thing you don't want to do when you're uh, hitting a muscle is pull the muscle. You don't want an injury. Right, Nick? No injuries here. Uh, no injuries. I want to warm up. So, to warm up here, we're going to start with maybe some push ups or something. Alright, if you can't do push ups on the floor, like I said, do one bench, maybe 20 reps, you know. 19, 20. <laughs> <laughs> I want your chest is warm, you're gonna hop over the barbell bench press over here. As the beginner Nick is gonna demonstrate. Alright. Now he's gonna grab the bar. Middle fingers right here. It's called the neutral grip. Alright? You're gonna take it off and you do eight repetitions here. Let's go. You notice how he's bringing it to his chest, he's bringing it up. Make sure you do not bounce it. If you bounce it too hard, you can hurt yourself. I know from experience, dude. <laughs> All right. There you go. Now, after eight reps, he's going to wait about 35 to 40 seconds and increase the weight by about five pounds. All right, so now, you guys are first starting out, you're going to want to build it up first nice and slowly and get the body used to the weight it's pushing. Max it out today, kid. Yeah. And after 35 seconds goes by, you can go into the second set. You can do eight reps again. There you go. There you go. See how he's hitting his chest there? Remember, no bouncing here. Lightly hit the chest, using it as a point, and bring it back up. We're doing that eight times. And after eight reps again, he's gonna wait 35 to 40 seconds. Right. Increase the weight by five pounds, go for his last set. But if that is too heavy, don't go higher, just stick with the weight. But some of you guys out there can do it, so i increase it by about five pounds. Yeah, it's hard, it's hard to judge when you're just starting out, so you gotta feel it out. You might need to use more than five, less than five, you just gotta feel it out. But make sure you're getting the eight reps every yes. set. So that one was too heavy, remember? It was bad, sloppy form. Well, not sloppy form, but like you couldn't get it. I'd say stick with it and do it for another set. Or if it's too light, increase it by five. Just add five. Let's roll, Nick. All right, neutral grip. He brings it off. Touches his chest. It's eight repetitions here. There you go. Boom. He racks it. Boom. Three sets of eight. Come for the first exercise of this chest routine. See that right there? <laughs> now we're gonna move over to the flat, flat, the flat bench dumbbell press. And uh, oh, come on over here. Uh huh, guys, this is important. I'll be right back. Uh, we use this one. All right, we're gonna do about the same thing here. Three sets of eight repetitions, 35, 40 seconds rest in between each set. All right, same thing, we're gonna start off light. Remember, you're just starting out lifting, you wanna get everything used to it, your body to adapt to the, um, to the exercises so you can eventually add more weight and stuff. So next thing to demonstrate here. Same thing, we're using uh, five pound dumbbells here, Nick. All right, same thing, eight repetitions for the first day, the first set, sorry. All right, it's almost like the bench press, but Allowing a little bit more range of motion, get the chest a little bit bigger here. There you go, same thing. Just bring it down to the side, presses it back up. Notice how he doesn't bring the dumbbells together. Allows you to use momentum to lift the weight instead of the actual chest. So, resulting in that, the chest won't grow as well as it would have if you don't touch it. So, after eight repetitions, same as before, it'll wait about 35 to 40 seconds in between. All right. 
If that weight was light, increase it by five, but if it was too heavy, stay with it. I mean, it might not be too heavy, but you know, for some people it might. Yeah, if it's too light, hey. you know, it might develop 10. It's too light. Just trying to give you like a general kind of weight class. Here. About 35, 40 seconds goes by. <laughs> Nixon can grab the 10 pounds. Actually, well, we're, uh, we're missing the 10, so we're going to grab the 15s. Grab the 15s. Remember, just add five. That's it. So for the second set here, you do the same thing. Eight repetitions. Nice and controlled. Feeling that chest contract. Eight reps here. It's a shirt. I like the shirt. It's all truth right there. After he's done with that, same thing, last set here. This is our second exercise. So on the last set, he's gonna wait about 35 to 40 seconds again. You can either increase the weight by five or you can stay with it. Nick, what are you gonna do? Uh, a, little, a little light for me. Uh, it's a little so light for I'm him, gonna so go he's gonna increase it by five. Let's roll. 500. <laughs> oh. <laughs> there we go, brother. Whoa. Eight reps here. See that chest contract right there? Comes back down, stretches it up, comes up, squeezes it together, does the same thing four more times. Let's get it. Boom. Good. Place it back in the knees, come back up. So that we're done with the second second set. What's up? What's up? At least that's up. We're done with the second exercise here. We did the flat bench barbell press. Flat bench dumbbell press. Now we're gonna go with our last exercise here, Nick. Flat bench dumbbell flies. Let's get it. Now, this is one of my favorite exercises here. All right. The key here is to go light and really feel the chest stretch. And when you come up the top, you really gotta squeeze. Nick's gonna demonstrate here. Just grab the same thing, a nice light weight you can get eight repetitions with. I'm missing 10, so. Use the 15s. All right. You're going super light on here. Even the foams go super light. This exercise is meant for the stretch. All right, we're gonna do eight repetitions here. Come up, kill it. All right, notice how his elbows are bowed. All right, when he comes up top and he squeezes. Keep the elbows bowed because you want the chest to really stretch. See how it brings them out and brings them back in. And up top, you want to almost hug, imaginary hug, big bear hug. It's your imaginary friend up there. <laughs> Same thing, eight repetitions, comes up, waits 35 to 40 seconds. We're on our last exercise here. You guys are going to see some growth. Remember, and, uh, the same it. thing as the flat dumbbell. When you're bringing them up, you don't want to touch them together. Yeah. It gives your chest a break. So. No, no bouncing. You want Remember. to kind of stop a couple inches before yes, you get exactly, to the top. Exactly, it says it all. <clears throat> Remember, muscle growth doesn't happen overnight. Uh, it takes a while, but... Uh, rewarding so we we'll stick with it never give up that's wrong man now same thing you can increase it by five you can stay with it my buddy nick here is gonna he's gonna stay with it because for flies you really don't have to go you don't have to go that heavy you mainly want to stretch and get a good feel on it all right let's get it i got a second set here same thing eight repetitions last exercise for that huge ass chest that's gonna grow on you <laughs> huge ass chest. Look at that. Arms bowed up top, he's just imaginary hugging. Really feeling that chest. Really getting this nice and big. Perfect. Alright, same thing. 35 to 40 seconds. Rest. You should count in your head. Don't wait too long. So many people waiting like five minutes between the set. And that's not doing anything. Either. That's letting all the muscle fibers recruit. You're holding here. You want to break them down. You got to break down the muscle fibers. Keep them broken down. 35 to 40 seconds goes in between. Nick stays with the same weight. And he's going to do his last set here. Three repetitions. Let's get it. Perfect form here. You want to fuck everything up.
right, that's it for the chest routine. Uh, it's perfect and it's strictly for beginners here. Uh, starting out young, not knowing really what to, what to grab, what to use. <laughs> you getting this? You got it, you getting it. Well, look at that. Got it in there. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's strictly for the beginners, you know, the young guys out there who are looking for a platform to sit on and uh, give some sort of guide on what weight to use and what type of exercise to start out with. And, uh, you know, keep, stick with it. Eventually, good things come your way. So, that's it. Get Big TV today. Monster Music Carter, as always, a pleasure demonstrating for you guys. So stay with us. We're gonna throw some more shit out there. That's it, y'all. I'm Kevin Rowe Jr., and you're watching. Get big TV. <laughs> <laughs>